Hello everyone, welcome to your girl Queen Shishi's page. Today is Faith Talk Friday. Remember I said that we're going to get on maybe a schedule. And so I like this whole idea of Faith Talk Friday. Today I am coming to you with a devotional it's okay not to be okay. And this is um, one of the devotionals that I was doing, that series that I was talking to you about. So this is one of them. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out this video right here. I'm putting it in the cards, go check it out. But it's okay not to be okay. And I guess that's important for us to discuss because a lot of times we want to put on a brave faith, face. You know, we want to put on a smile even when we don't feel like smiling. We're not very honest with our emotions and how we feel. And I'm here today to tell you that it is okay not to be okay. So... We internalize things, and I was going on and on, and I'm already hitting points. But Psalm 62 8 tells us, Trust in Him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. So when we are in those moments where we don't feel okay, understand who we need to turn to we need to turn to god and trust him because he knows it all he knew us before we were even formed in the wombs of our mothers so trust me he knows those moments where you're not feeling okay another thing is we are never too far gone to where he's not with you so understand he is always with you. He is always, he is only looking for your willingness. So again, I've shared this and I've talked about this. God is not looking for perfect people. God is looking for people who have a desire to live the way he calls us to live. Ephesians 2, 4, 5 but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. The illusion of control. And I think sometimes that is what causes us not to feel okay because we want to feel like we're controlling everything. We want to control. What are the situations that we want to control? For me, I want to control motherhood. For me, I want to control my career. I want to control the marriage. I have to understand that God has full control. It doesn't matter how hard I try to play like I have control over these situations. I don't have control over them. That's an illusion. Esther 4.14 says, for if you remain silent at this time, relief and, deliver de and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. I'm just hitting some points, guys. You all, I am imploring you to go and read for yourself and understand the stories um, within these scriptures. Do it afraid, okay? A lot of times we don't feel okay because... We didn't take an opportunity. We didn't take a chance. We're afraid. And what causes us to be afraid? What causes me to be afraid is the possibility of failure. I don't know about you, but knowing that I might fail at something sometimes causes me to, you know, be afraid. To I don't want to do it. I, I it, it makes me um, stop in my tracks. You know, it's like it freezes me. I can't move. God is not put off by our fear. Okay? God is not put off 
by your fear. Joshua 1 9, be strong and courageous. He calls us to be strong and courageous. Luke 1 30, 30. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. And that's what you need to understand. You need to understand that you have found favor with God. What I need to understand is I have found favor with God. So I don't need to be afraid. Judges 6, 16 to 23 and 1 Kings 19, 3 and 9. Another thing we need to do understanding that it's okay not to be okay. We need to trust the process. God has it all in his hands. Ladies and gentlemen, near and far, hear me, hear me, hear me clearly. God has it all in his hands. 2 Peter 3, 9, he is patient with you. Genesis 40, 14, but when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. Remember, I want you to go in and dig for yourself about the backstories um, surrounding the scripture that I'm sharing with you. Beautiful scars. All of our scars are beautiful. All of our scars coming out of it, whatever that situation is, whatever has you feeling uneasy, understand that coming out of that will definitely show you signs of his love. Okay? Whatever scar that is, you were in an abusive relationship, you were um, lost in the world, you were, um, whatever it is, whatever your scar is, understand that that is a sign of his love because you made it out of that, okay? Physical, mental, emotional, whatever those scars are, again, those are signs of his love. Isaiah 53, 5, by his wounds, we are healed. I live by that. I love that piece of scripture. Um, I just, I don't know. I love it. I love that piece of scripture. I hope the lighting is fine. Let me move it a tad bit. It seemed like it was a little dark in here. Let's see. I think it's better now. We'll see how this goes. Fight for your life, okay? Even though you're not okay, fight for your life. He wants you, he wants me to surrender it all to him. That's the only way we're going to fight, is surrendering it to Christ, giving it all to him, all of our desires, all of our issues, all of the things that trouble us, all of the things that keep us up at night, all of the things that we cry about, all of the things that people don't know. God knows it all and he wants us to surrender it all to him. Romans 8, 39, nothing in all creation can separate us from God's love for us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing, y'all, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Hear me. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing can se separate me from the love of God. Feeling okay, not feeling okay, God loves us. Okay. Either way, God loves us. Psalms 27, 13, 14. Be brave and courageous. Yes. Wait patiently for the Lord. Um, a lot of times we cause ourselves our own grief. Let me say that again. A lot of times we cause ourselves our own grief because we don't want to do this right here. We don't want to wait patiently on the Lord. We want to take matters into our own hands. So then we cause ourselves more issues because we didn't want to wait. Wait on the Lord. Understand that. Wait. Because guess what? 
He has it all in his hands. And guess what? He knows all of it. Okay? And he wants me to surrender it all to him. That's all he wants is for me to surrender it all to him. So in those moments of you not feeling okay, please understand that it's okay not to be okay. And to un and we must acknowledge that we're not okay. We must also acknowledge that we're never too far gone. God is always there. We must also detect those things that may be causing us not to feel okay. Is it those things that we want full control of and we know that we'll never have control of? You'll never have control of anything in this life. Because it's not our own. Okay? And, and if it's something that you need to do that scares you, that's causing you not to be okay, do it afraid. Do it afraid because God is not put off by your fear. Trust the process. He has it all in his hands. Trust the process. And anything, any scar that you have coming out of whatever situation, it is a sign of his love. And we must fight for our life, lives. Fight for your life, okay? He wants us to surrender it all. And I know I just repeated myself, but I wanted to make it very clear. It's short. It's sweet. I want you guys to go and dig into your own um, word. Pray and ask God for an understanding of the word. And I'm just here to share a little bit, little tidbits here and there. Um, my own process, my own journey. And I think, y'all, that this, I'm going to change um, my setup for Faith Talks. You guys let me know what you think down in the um, comment area. Do you guys want to see me during our Faith Talks? Or are you okay with just seeing my notes and my hands? My girlfriend about Miriam brought that up to me to make it more personable. Maybe the people need to see me. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. If you are new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and your support. Go ahead and like this video, share this video. I'm just so glad I made it through the video without my phone acting stupid. And until next time, y'all, peace and love.